Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Hack Slash Back to School number four. This is a new book and the finale uh, from this series uh, by Image Comics. Let's take a look at the creative team here. We have story and art by Zoe Thurgood with color assist by Sarah Mitresh. Uh, I never learned how to say that name. I apologize. Uh, of course, Hack Slash created by Tim Silly and Stefano Caselli. We have the main cover by Zoe Thurgood. Uh, boy, oh boy, what can I say about this book other than it is such an epic finale? Uh, let me read the synopsis and then we'll get into this. Uh, the end of the beginning, Cassie and Vlad's first case draws to a brutal end as the school for slasher killers faces a slasher killer killer and Cassie faces the question, who's too broken to fix? Now, does that make sense out of context? I don't think so. But once you read this book, you're going to be like, oh, okay. Makes perfect sense. What a what a really fun book that is also one of the most fucked up things I've ever read. Um, not not being a fan uh, or even... I, like, I knew about Hack Slash prior, but I've never read it. I've never really dove into it. Uh, and it's such a fresh perspective, such a really welcoming book too for anybody that's never read any hack slash uh it's got really fun characters really engaging mythology that you can just kind of really go with um but it also has some gruesome situations some really gnarly violence and kills uh some of the most deranged characters you could ever see uh the things that they have to face on a you know every issue uh, are just super fucked up so like this is a whole mixed bag, but I think from what I've seen now and I've researched, it really distills the essence of what Hack Slash is really about. And just when you think that you know how the story is going to end, this book turns not just the story, but your life upside down. Uh, and then not only everyone is an emotional mess by the end. So uh, let's take a look at some of the preview art because uh, not only is Zori Thorgan a fantastic writer, but also, just a great, great artist. Uh, you know, we kind of catch up. I love that these pages, the first few pages, are uh, sans dialogue. I think it just really makes sense for uh, for the story. It makes sense for the book. Uh, and it's just some of the creepiest shit you could ever see, right? Uh, the, the, the mother spirit, the children, uh, the dead children. Oh, my God. Yeah, just so many weird things. Just so fucked up all over. Uh, and then we get to see our favorite characters uh, as they kind of process everything that's going on. We get to see a little bit of how they're dealing with the stress of everything that they just had to face. Uh, and this is just the beginning of the story. This isn't even the end. So very, very cool stuff. Um, I would really love to hear from people that are new to the hack slash um uh, this the you know the hack slash property uh what you thought of this this series uh i really enjoyed it i think it's just a lot of fun and this is it really feels like something that comic books were just truly made for um but also if you're a longtime fan of hack slash let me know how you think this fits into the larger world um and let me know what you think of just like the final few pages of this book so if you have read hack slash uh, back to school. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. We have at the back uh, the main cover and also at the end of the video we have a cover by Liana Kangas who's one of my favorite artists. Hopefully I can pick that up. I asked my shop to save one for me if they get it. Uh, but sometimes some of these variant covers are not very readily available. Uh, so as always, thank you for watching everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.